Well, a long road to recovery for Chateau Country Club after a fire destroyed their golf carts and the building that they were stored in. But leadership at the club says that the fire won't stop operations at the country club. WDSU reporter Eli Brand is on the scene where that fire happened Saturday night and explains what's next for members. Eli. Well, the plan is for golfers to actually be able to come out here and put in a round tomorrow, although they're probably going to have to walk. There is a plan in place right now to try and get some temporary golf carts in place here on the course soon. But management says the biggest thing is that no one was hurt. Bubba, come back. Everybody back up. Get clear. Hey, clear. Everybody come back. A scary situation for club members and guests alike on Saturday night as a wall of flames climbed into the night sky, destroying 70 golf carts and many sets of golf clubs. Well, tomorrow we're probably going to be walking only. We are working on getting some temporary carts here. I don't know if they'll be here tomorrow. And we're working on trying to get set up some drink stations and to be able to provide beverages for the members. And we've been very fortunate members and guests have been very supportive and calling and offering support and condolences as well. The country club's general manager, Michelle Yinney, says she assumes the building is a total loss but is waiting for confirmation on that. She says in the end, the most important thing is that no one was injured, something club member Michael Russo agrees with. There was fireball shooting straight up into the air, so of course, you know, just trying to talk through text message. Uh, you can get very scared and overreact, but again, once we found out no one was hurt and it was just material, you know, it was a big sigh of relief. He even says he plans on continuing to support the club, even if it does require him to get in a few more steps. I have a push cart on the way. Uh, it should be delivered, uh, and I'm, I, I will play. I still will play and I'll support the club. Um, yes, if I have to walk for a little bit, it's uh, not that inconvenient. Uh, it's good exercise. The Kenner Fire Chief tells me they're waiting on a few more tests to come back before they can make an official cause here of this fire, although he says nothing seems to be suspicious as of right now. We're also told that City Park and a few other country clubs are helping Chateau get some of those temporary cards. Reporting live in Kenner, Eli Brand, WDSU News.